Hello, my name is Dr. Roger Welton, CEO of Premier Veterinary Care. I have two postdoctoral certifications in canine reconstructive knee surgery, and today I'm going to be talking to you about repair of the canine cranial cruciate ligament, a common tear that we see in veterinary orthopedics. Uh, the procedure specifically I'm going to be talking about is called the tightrope, but first let's talk about the cranial cruciate ligament. This is the canine knee, and what you see here is the patella. This is the patellar tendon that runs over and forms the uh, front part of the joint and we insert here at the tibia. I'm going to pull that away for you so this model is quite anatomically correct and represents the cranial cruciate ligament. When it ruptures it causes forward movement of the tibia and actually when I go to diagnose it I can actually move the tibia forward which is a hallmark sign we call cranial drawer. So when we think of the, tip, the femur and how it articulates on the tibia the tibia in the dog is at an angle of about 20 to 25 degrees, so we call it a wagon sitting on a hill. So essentially, if you have a wagon on a hill, you need a rope to hold it there. The physiological rope is the cranial crucial ligament. When it tears, the wagon slides down the hill. So essentially, with tightrope procedure, it's a very simple concept. We're just reestablishing the rope. It's, uh, like I said, a preferred procedure for dogs under 40 pounds because you really don't need much more than this suture. What we do is we drill two very small bone tunnels that accommodate the suture that we run through the femur distally here and then through the tibia proximally here. We uh, feed it through this button and then come up underneath the quadriceps muscle here and tie these knots. We've now recreated the rope and we no longer have any forward movement. This is very high tech stuff. This is called fiber tape made by a company called Arthrex. Don't let its small size fool you. That can withstand 250 pounds of tensile strength. It is extremely strong and very biologically adaptable. Tightrope heals in about six weeks. It is minimally, minimally invasive compared to other procedures out there. And uh, as I said, for small dogs, it's, it's ideal. So if your dog is limping in the hind limb, chances are there could be a CCL injury. Please give us a call and set up a consultation. We are fully equipped and have the expertise to repair all manner of CCL injuries.